Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov and today I want to show how to create tests dynamically using a fixture with a list of data items to create each test. In my example, I have this fixture called free and the free JSON file has a couple of items. We can load this list of items and say, well, when you load fixture.json, then, and here's where people get stuck, right? Yeah, you'll have a list of items, but then you have to say it creates an item and somehow use this list, right, that we just import using fixture. Or maybe you want to create a test for each item. Problem is, if you are running before hook, that means the tests are already defined. So you cannot define additional tests using a fixture. So instead, here's what you can do. We have a JSON file. Well, we can import that file directly. So we can say import data from and then just a picture relative path free JSON. Now, this is what Webpack or whatever bundler Cypress is using. We'll go find the JSON file, load it as text, parse it as a JSON file, and we'll put it in this variable. So it will be there when the spec starts, which means we can take this data and say for each item, do something. And let me just show it how it looks, just, just to make sure that it works. I'll create a dummy test and I will console log whatever data we got from the fixture file. Okay, so this is the list. And notice this is exactly what the JSON fixture file has. So we can definitely use import and grab the JSON file. So in, in my case, the data all to do's object follows the structure of a GraphQL because I use this fixture to actually stop GraphQL call. Okay, well, so because I don't need it, I can import just a property in a JSON by name data. In this case, I'm getting all to do's. Perfect. So here's the trick. Because this data is available when the spec starts running, we can say the following. Data, which is an object, all to do's, which is the array, right, right here, one, two, three, Right, we can say, okay, for each item with index k, it, let's say, creates item, and then we can use this k as an index. And now we had three items in this fixture file, and notice it called it function three times. Now this is exactly as doing something like this. One, two, right? This list is available when this runs the first time, and it can define a test for each item. Now, what can we do inside this test? Anything you want. In my case, I probably will uh, make a call to the server to create an item using a sci request command. Let's see how it's done. So I have sci request command, and I'm using GraphQL mutation, where I'm passing the title and completed flag, and I'm passing the item title and item completed properties as variables title completed okay so i'm making in each test a call by the way i'm deleting all items before each test so each test has its own item now notice that each one makes a call right using side request so the first call in its body sends uh if we look at the variables it's hard to actually see it right here right here maybe uh, now this is response. Let's out. I think I can only see it on hover. You notice at the end of this tooltip, you see title use GraphQL, which is the first title right here. And then the second test creates an item. And if I hover to see what it creates, it says right react front end. So each side request really gets a different item. But let's verify the UI. After we call side request, we can do side visit. So this will run after side request completes. Okay. Now we can clearly see side request and then the visit. And we probably want to confirm that the item is actually present. So we'll say side contained to do and use the title. The same title we pass into the request. Okay. Now we can see each title. Perfect. And you can use, uh, for example, item completed to form an assertion to make sure that completed items have class completed 
and incomplete items do not have this class. I've shown it in a different video already. So this is the way you can take the fixture data and separate your test logic from your data logic or test logic from test data and create a separate test for each data item. So it's tested by itself. If it fails, other items are still tested and you know the complete picture.